Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. So with the release of iSAN, I decided to do a quick installation video for both the quad and mono versions, just so that if you needed to, you could just, you know, build it in about a minute, two minutes. So all you really need to do, so this is the quad version, the mono version will be in the next chapter. So all you need to do, you need to have your four receivers for the quad version, then you click on them each and you gotta click right over here to the right tab. So what you'll want to do is on all of them you want to set the listen angle to 180 and that's on all of them just 180. So then this is number one out of my arrays so you see N1, R1, and M1. So N1 is the message, R1 is the signal strength, and M1 is the target message. Now, so you're wondering, why is there one on all of these? That's because this is the first receiver. So this, it will have N2, R2, and M2. And you do that for all four of them, and so one through four. Then, aside from that, what you'll need is an advanced YOL all chip. I used a professional just because it's a general one that you want to use when you're doing GPS systems, and you want to have a YOL all memory chip. So in the memory chip, you'll rename six of the fields. So XX, YY, ZZ, CL, SD, and POS. Uh, I'll, these are explained on the document more in depth. So this is just a setup guide, so I'm not going to be going too in depth into there. And then on the chip, what you want to do is you want to have this code. This is also in the document in the description, and you can just copy it directly from there. Then all you need to do is make sure everything is hooked up so all of the connections are made and then all you really need to do is go over to wherever you want to see your angle and all of that, your position, and you just rename a text panel to POS and then you make sure everything's connected and it will automatically update and have your position. And so that's everything for the quad version. And then the mono version will go right to that. And so the mono system is similar and it's pretty easy to set up, a little bit easier even. So you only need the one receiver, thus mono. So listen angle is still 180. And then you have N1, R1, and M1 as the same with quad, except you just don't have the other three. Then on the chip, what you'll do is there's a couple different things here. So again, consult the document and you can copy and paste directly from there. And then everything on the YOLAL memory chip are exactly the same. And if you just go and you still have your text panel that's named POS, everything will just work fine. And it is a little slower to update, but it's much more compact. And there you are. That is both the ISAN mono and quad. So if you have any questions, uh, please leave a comment and I can answer them. Or uh, I can also redirect you to the official people, so collective, who made the system. And I will be doing more videos on other things such as the add-ons that can go with this system because there are a couple. There's, al there's already one developed and there will be more coming. So please stay tuned for that. So thank you for watching.